Dear colleagues, co-chairs of the two subgroups of the Cartel Working Group will present you in the framework of this BNI session colleagues from the Chilean, Hungarian and Turkish competition authorities. I am Josef Sharai, representing the Hungarian Competition Authority and having been the co-chair of Subgroup 1 until this May, I will provide you with a brief uh, introduction to the general work of the Working Group. The Cartel Working Group was set up in 2004. According to our mandate, the Cartel Working Group is to address challenges of cartel law enforcement, including the prevention, detection, investigation and punishment of cartel conducts, both domestically and internationally, over the entire range of ICM members with differing levels of experience and resources, focusing first of all on hardcore cartels directed at price fixing, bid rigging, market sharing and output restrictions. The Cartel Working Group is quite specific in the sense that it is the only working group within the ICN which has had two subgroups from the outset of its operation. The Legal Framework subgroup, that is subgroup 1, addresses the legal and conceptual challenges of cartel law enforcement, focuses on uh, policy level issues related to cart cartel conduct. Over the past 15 years, Subgroup 1 has dealt with topics such as definition of hardcore conducts, effective institutions and penalties, obstruction, interaction of public and private enforcement, fine setting, settlement, and has given increased priority to leniency issues in recent years. Since around 2009, Subgroup 1 has been organizing webinars on various topics, such as the criminalization of cartel law enforcement, cartel awareness, bid rigging, compliance, and leniency policies. Subgroup 1 relies, to a great extent, on the contribution of NGAs to its activity. Stemming from its name, Enforcement Techniques, Subgroup 2 is more agency-related. Subgroup 2 aims to improve the effectiveness of cartel law enforcement by identifying and sharing specific investigative techniques and by advancing the information, sharing and education agenda of international cartel workshops. In the past 15 years, Subgroup 2 has been responsible for the elaboration of various chapters of the Anti-Cartel Enforcement Manual on topics such as investigative strategy, interviewing techniques, searches, rates and inspections, and digital information gathering, to name a few. In addition to organizing the International Cartel Workshops, Subgroup 2 elaborated the ICM framework for the promotion of the sharing of non-confidential information in cartel cases and has run from the outset the anti-cartel enforcement template which is a very valuable source of information about the cartel regimes of the ICN member institutions. From the next ICN year the Cartel Working Group will be co-chaired by the French Autorité de la Concurrence, the Italian AGCM and the Russian Federal Anti-Monopoly Service. Subgroup 1 is co-chaired by the Hungarian GVH and the Turkish Rekabat Kurumu, while Subgroup 2 is co-chaired by the Chilean Fiscalia Nacional Economica and the Dutch ACM. And now, I give the floor to our Turkish and Chilean colleagues who will report you about the work products achieved by the working group in the past and about our work plan for the next ICA year. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Nur and I am currently Co Turkish Competition Authority's co-chair of Cartel Working Group Subgroup 1. And I am Recep Gündüz, the Head of External Relations and Competition Advocacy Department of the Turkish Competition Authority. Today, together with Nur, we will be talking about last year's work product of ICN Cartel Working Group. 
Recep, let's begin with the first work product of Cartel Working Group titled as Guidance on Enhancing Cross-Border Leniency Cooperation. Sure. This guidance document was created to assist national agencies in coordinating with one another in case of a joint leniency application across multiple jurisdictions. And it covers topics such as communication between agencies, coordinating joint interviews, and also it includes some practical tips for managing confidentiality waivers. Webinars are our uh, work group's second work product. In 2019, together with our colleagues from Hungarian Competition Authority, we held several webinars uh, on topics such as uh, leniency, damages claims in cartel cases, detecting and assessing the bidding cartels, the extent of information sharing between competitors, and using presumptions in detecting participation in cartels. Having said that, we would like to take this opportunity to thank our colleagues in Hong Kong Competition Commission and as well as JFTC for holding some of these webinars at Asia Pacific Friendly Times in order to foster further participation. Recep, Cartel Working Group's third work product was 2019 Cartel Workshop. This workshop was held in Brazil with the team Cartels in the Age of Data-Driven Economy. Uh, some of the topics discussed uh, in this workshop were antitrust liability for software-based infringements, intelligence and screening tools, effective lenience and evidence assessment in digital era. We would like to thank our colleagues in Brazilian competition agency, Kaje, for, the, for this excellent workshop. Cartel Working Group also continued to promote sharing of non-confidential information between member agencies and encourage the use of frameworks request procedure documents in order to make sure that both the requester and the requester understand the expectations and the nature of the information that can be requested by using this framework. Also, our working group continues to maintain the database of current contact person of the participating agencies and encourages sharing of experiences. We also expect to foster, pick up the phone kind of relation, relationship for improved cooperation between member agencies. Lastly, uh, we need to mention that Cartel Working Group subgroup two has been uh, updating the anti-cartel enforcement uh, template and uh, has supplemented the uh, has supplemented questionnaire, uh, a new chapter on private enforcement. Currently, there are 41 templates uh, which you can access from ICN's website. I think these are the all work products of Cartel Working Group, and we think that we will be producing even better works in the coming uh, ICN year with your participation. We hope to see you in our coming events, and we wish you a happy and healthy year. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Ricardo Riesco. I'm the National Economic Prosecutor at the Fiscalia Nacional Económica, which is a Chilean competition agency. Our institution is one of the co-chairs of subgroup two of the Cartel Working Group of the ICN, alongside with the Netherlands ACM. I will give you a brief summary of the projects on the cards for the Cartel Working Group over the next year. Subgroup one of the Cartel Working Group will be working on three main projects. The first project is the ICN Member Survey on Trends and Developments in Anti-Cartel Enforcement in the Second Decade of the ICN. The Survey Report of 2010, which was presented at the 9th ICN Annual Conference, conveyed great interest. Therefore, the survey will be repeated next year in order to capture changes in cartel enforcement over the last 10 years and also to analyze the progress that has been made in the fight against cartels. A final report based on the findings of the survey will be presented at the next year's ICN annual conference. The second project that will be developed by subgroup one is called Crisis Cartels and Horizontal Cooperation in the Time of COVID-19. It's a new project that intends to explore issues and challenges faced by the competition agencies during this pandemic. These challenges include the evaluation of so-called crisis cartels, which are likely to be formed in an effort to stabilize businesses and to prevent exit from markets hit by a severe downturn. They also include the ex-ante assessment of temporary horizontal cooperation projects that may be necessary during these difficult times to provide goods and services, for example, in the health sector, that might otherwise not be available. The third project of subgroup one are six webinars on the anti-cartel legislation and different enforcement topics. There will be 
follow-ups of three previous webinars that were very successful. These are damages claims in cartel cases, how to detect and assess bidding cartels, and finally, compliance. There will also be three new topics, which are leniency perspectives from the private bar, haven't spoke cartel cases, and crisis cartels and horizontal cooperation in the time of COVID-19. In order to accommodate as many members as possible, two or three of these webinars will be replayed during Asia-Pacific friendly times. Regarding subgroup two of the cartel working group, it also has three projects for the next year. The first is the ongoing big data and cartels project, which focuses on the impact of the digital economy in cartel enforcement. After collecting existing knowledge on the subject, a scoping paper was produced that outlined the main aspects of the potential role of data, both as a vehicle for pollution and also as a tool for detection. The scoping paper was circulated the input of a number of agencies and NGAs was gathered in several rounds of consultations and was finally completed and approved by the steering group last May. In the following year, the Cartel Working Group will revise and update some of the chapters of the Anti-Cartel Enforcement Manual on Digital Evidence Gathering or Investigative Strategy in line with the content and findings of the scoping paper. Subgroup 2, second project, is the cartel workshop that will, hopefully, take place in Portugal. The dates are yet to be determined, subject to the situation stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic. Last but not least, the third project to be developed by Subgroup 2 is divided in two parts. The first is the implementation of the ICM framework for the promotion of the sharing of non-confidential information, also known as the ICN liaison. In 2015, this framework was established as a means to give agencies a place to start in building stronger relationships and sharing information. The plan for the next year is to maintain and encourage the use of the framework by promoting it among the cartel working group members. The second task is to update and circulate relevant material of the anti-cartel enforcement template project. These templates provide information on legislation concerning anti-cartel enforcement by ICM members. They also provide information about the applicable rules to file for leniency or to file a complaint in one or more jurisdictions. As you may have noticed, it's a busy year ahead for the cartel working group of the ICM. We are sure that working hard on all of these topics will provide useful insights, information and tools to help competition agencies with their daily fight against cartels. Thank you.